John here, the autoresponder guy, coming to you from dropdeadcopy.com with another useful, they're all useful I think, video session. Now today, it's about copywriting and it's about this. Here's this cliche that, that plenty of copywriters and marketers before me have said. Here it is. The more you tell, the more you sell. Very simple thing. And uh, you know it's, it's very easy to understand, and I want to explain it in a way that, that you're really going to understand. And this is hopefully will illustrate why long copy sales letters work far better than short copy. So for example, let's think out of 100 people who visit a given page, let's say five of those people are going to want to buy right now, right? And they buy anyway because they already know who the seller is. You know, they they have a you know they already they're warm leads. They know who the who the person selling the product is. And they're going to buy the product, whether it's 100 words on the page or whether it's 1,000, then you know, it doesn't really matter. The next five, they're going to need a little bit more. Maybe they don't know the person who's selling it as well. So they're going to need at least 1,000 words. Not because they're going to read all the 1,000 words, but when you have 1,000 words of copy on the page, it means that you're going to have a higher likelihood of hitting a benefit or something that they actually want to uh, learn about. And therefore, you're going to catch their attention. Right? And then the next, let's say the next 10, so you've got five people and another five, and the next 10 people, these are people who are going to need, like, let's say, 20, uh, you know, maybe like 5,000 words of copy. So, and it might be a bullet point. A bullet point is going to catch their attention. It's going to nail them. It's going to hit that little nook and cranny in their brain that they really want to know about. And they're going to buy it based on that single bullet. Okay? Obviously, the rest is a supporting factor. But if you didn't take the time to write out those 5,000 words, you probably wouldn't have written out that bullet that got that person to buy. So in a sense, you could look at that and say that that bullet is worth $50 or $100 or whatever the, you know, whatever the product's worth, okay? John Carlton says this. He's one of the greatest copywriters around. He says this, and uh, you know, if he's saying it, it's, uh, it makes a lot of sense too. I, I think it's a great idea. I think it's very true. Basic idea is, is like if you don't have enough words on there, the people who need more words to buy aren't going to buy. Whereas if you have 5,000 words on there, you're going to catch the people who would buy straight away and the people who need a lot more information before they make a buying decision. This applies to emails. Some people say to me, how long should my autoresponder sequence be? How many emails should I write? The, you know, the, the answer is as many as you can, right? Because the relationship never really ends. There is something to be said that the leads slowly go down uh, in quality. So you might want to send less after three months and then a bit less after six months and so on. But the basic idea is that the more time, more emails you send, the more people you're going to catch. Because some people will buy after one day. Right? Some people will buy after one month. Some people, it'll have to be six months, and some people, again, might not buy until a year after they've been on your list. So if you don't, write, if you don't have those emails getting sent out for the next year, then you're going to miss that customer. Right? They're going to buy from someone else. And it's the same thing with the sales, sales letter. You know, if some people are going to want to read everything they can before they make that buying decision, and if that information isn't on the page, you can't make that sale. Right? And that's why long copy works. Because the more you tell, the more you sell. One size definitely not, does not, definitely does not fit all, okay? When you write a sales letter, you're not gonna write a thousand words and go, oh, that's perfect for everyone, I'm done. You know? What, you're gonna, what you wanna do is you wanna have a long sales letter that basically goes into all the different reasons why someone might buy, and they're not all gonna be, re they're not going to be relevant to every single person on that page, but each section, each reason, is going to be relevant to a segment of that audience and that's really what you're trying to do. This is just a quick video session uh, with the autoresponder guy from dropdeadcopy.com. If you have any questions, send me an email, john at dropdeadcopy and I'll get back to you. So I'll see you next time for another video session. <laughs>